In a bustling city lived a young woman named Maya, full of dreams and ambitions. She had recently graduated from college and landed her first job at a fast-paced marketing firm. Like many people her age, Maya was eager to prove herself, climb the corporate ladder, and achieve success as quickly as possible. Her mind was constantly racing with plans, goals, and deadlines. She wanted everything now promotions, recognition, and wealth. However, the fast lane she was on was filled with obstacles Maya hadn't anticipated. Each day at work, Maya would come in with fresh ideas, hoping to be noticed. But as the weeks passed, her efforts seemed to go unnoticed. Her colleagues were equally driven, and her boss, though kind, didn't seem to recognize her potential. Maya grew frustrated. She had poured her heart into every task, often staying late to perfect her work. But the results were slow to materialize. One Friday evening, after a particularly long week, Maya met up with her grandfather, Ravi, for dinner. Ravi was a retired teacher, and someone Maya always looked up to for advice. As they sat at a cozy restaurant, Maya unloaded her frustrations. I don't understand, Grandpa. I've been working so hard, and it feels like I'm getting nowhere. Everyone around me seems to be moving ahead, and I'm stuck in the same place. Ravi listened quietly, smiling gently as she spoke. He had seen the same impatience in others throughout his life, including in himself when he was younger. After a pause, he finally spoke. Maya, do you remember the garden I used to tend when you were little? Maya nodded. She remembered spending hours with her grandfather in his garden helping him water the plants and watching them grow. Of course, Grandpa, you always had the most beautiful flowers, she said, wondering how this was relevant to her situation. Ravi leaned back and smiled. You see, Maya, growing a garden is a lot like building a career or achieving anything meaningful in life. When I first plant the seeds, I don't expect flowers the next day or even the next week. I water the plants, nurture them, make sure they get sunlight, and then I wait. It's the same with life. Good things take time. Maya furrowed her brow. But, Grandpa, what if I'm watering the wrong plants? What if I'm wasting my time and effort? Her grandfather chuckled softly. That's the fear many people have. But patience doesn't mean waiting passively or staying in the wrong situation. It means taking the time to nurture your efforts, learn, and grow even if the results aren't immediate. Sometimes, the seeds we plant take longer to bloom, and sometimes, they grow in ways we didn't expect. But the key is persistence and faith in the process. Maya listened starting to understand the lesson her grandfather was trying to impart. He continued, In your job, you're learning new skills every day, even if you don't realize it. You're building relationships, gaining experience, and shaping your path. Success isn't just about immediate rewards. It's about the journey and how much you grow along the way. After their dinner, Maya went home feeling a bit lighter. Her grandfather's words echoed in her mind. Patience doesn't mean waiting passively, but nurturing and trusting the process. The next week at work, Maya approached her tasks with a new perspective. Instead of focusing on how quickly she could be noticed or promoted, she started to immerse herself in learning and improving her skills. Months passed, and though Maya still faced challenges, her mindset had shifted. She found herself enjoying the work more, especially now that she wasn't solely fixated on the end result. Her patience allowed her to learn from her mistakes, and instead of being frustrated by setbacks, she saw them as opportunities to improve. One day, Maya's boss called her into his office. Maya, I've been noticing the quality of your work lately. You've been doing some excellent things around here, and I think you're ready for a bigger project. Maya was surprised, not because she didn't feel ready, but because she had stopped obsessing over recognition and promotions. Her focus had shifted to doing her best work and learning as much as she could. And finally, the recognition came when she least expected it. 
The project was a huge success. Maya's patience and dedication paid off, and she was soon given more responsibilities. But more than the promotion or accolades, what Maya cherished the most was the lesson she had learned about patience. She realized that the value of patience wasn't just in waiting, but in how you use the time while you wait how you grow, learn, and prepare for the opportunities that will come your way. A year later, Maya visited her grandfather again. They sat in his garden, surrounded by blooming flowers. You were right, Grandpa, she said, smiling. I've been watering my plants, and they're finally blooming. Her grandfather smiled warmly. I knew they would, Maya. They always do, when you give them time. The moral of the story is that success doesn't come overnight. Patience is not about waiting idly, but about using that time to nurture, learn, and grow. By focusing on the journey and embracing the process, we find that when our time comes, we are ready to bloom.